research and literature always prove something. But I, uh, Frederick talked about the naked principle, but I myself have the Mark principle. I want to notice first what, prove, what works for me and then I believe it. So that's my principle. And uh, what, a little story I want to, to share with you when I was a young child. When I was young. And um, every evening I had a brother and a sister and my parents brought us into our sleeping room. And uh, we had a little book with nursery rhymes. And we all sang these nursery rhymes. There were 20 nursery rhymes and my parents tried to, 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 uh, to switch on several pages in the <laughs> to, to let the time uh, a bit quicker. But we always knew what song came next. And uh, it, it, it gave a safe and comfortable feeling. And when I was a bit older, five, six years old, I sometimes had those terrible dreams about uh, fighting and, and uh, danger. And sometimes I won in my dreams, but sometimes I lost. And then I discovered for myself that uh, when I remembered those nursery songs, I could bring back the feeling uh, when I had it, when we were together with the family. And uh, what I did is go down to my blankets and sing loud those songs. And then the feeling was great. So it was for my the proof that it works, that to create positive emotions. And it gave me the possibility to deal with difficult situations. And so when I was young, I had the, those, those, those nursery rhymes. And later on, you have always your own thing to create uh, safety and hope. Because we all know that if you are stressed, you narrow your mind, you narrow your possibilities. If you are relaxed and not anxious or, or don't have fear, it broadens your creativity. So that's what, what I discovered. And uh, we don't have that much time, so I go a bit quick and we can uh, give you some information to read about uh, the theory. But the Broden and Bill theory is uh, Fredrickson, everybody knows Fredrickson, I think. It's, uh, she did uh, a lot of research. And she said it's, it's the theory of uh, well-being. And you know that she, uh, uh, with the stretch goals, well-being was the second part. And that is what her research is going about. Um, uh, it's, uh, if you, uh, have, you create positive emotions, then you, uh, you, you create more possibilities for yourself to be creative and, uh, and reach goals. So uh, it leads to more creative and flexible thinking. And the problem uh, hypothesis is... Uh, you said hypothesis? Hypothesis. 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 Okay. Um, is uh, that uh, there is some research done about the, the Brodden hypothesis and that is that uh, in, in laboratory situations uh, students were uh, saw, uh, they get a task and in advance they get some uh, movies, some video clips with uh, representing some emotions and those emotions were uh, fear Joy, yeah, and uh, the idea yeah, was, 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 was yeah. Okay. neutral. Yeah, it was a neutral. One. And uh, what they noticed was that uh, the, the neutral one and the, uh, the positive ones uh, made more possibilities, and the people were more creative. So that was the proof of this theory. But I myself believe only in my own theory. So. This was uh, what, what Fredrickson uh, discovered. And, uh, and well, the cognition and at least the wide area of thoughts and action in those in the mind. Whenever you go to a GP, take him a small present. Take, bring yeah, him a instance, small present. Yeah. Because research showed that <laughs> they did these investigations about giving a small, uh, a, a small um, some candy. <coughs> to doctors in one group and not doing that in another group, it appeared that the GPs or the specialists in the group that got the candy 
We're far more better at the diagnosis. <laughs> We're much better at uh, being flexible, you know, saying, okay, maybe I might consider it for a second time, you know, not saying, okay, this is it, and, and I'm not going to think about it. So more flexible, more cooperative, and just did far much, far more better. So just a small tip. Yeah. Yeah. Riding. Riding. <laughs> <laughs> And, and what Frederick said in our presentation is that the positive emotion is under, under uh, well, it's, it's not many research about positive emotions. It's the, 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 in every article or research, uh, there are three positive research reports uh, to one uh, about positive uh, emotions. So, um, it's, um, the, the build uh, hypothesis is uh, about uh, you can learn be positive. It is it has to do with uh, there are students who uh, who have reports uh, had to make reports about finding positive emotions and then performing a task. So uh, it says that uh, positive emotions are being you can learn it. You can learn about it. Yeah? So uh, it's uh, you can build your uh, own positive emotions and make your uh, adaptive in more situations. You build resilience. And the negative emotions are all, has always to do with uh, flight and fight. So it is to a specific situation, while uh, positive emotions are a kind of, uh, it's for the long term that, that you uh, can make use of it. And uh, the positive emotions are also, uh, give possibilities to to cope with a difficult situation in your life, or to build better relationships, and uh, if it goes about uh, survival, you know, what, what negative emotions were functional in survival, uh, positive emotions are even better.